The Gunpla World Tournament finally begins in my review of Gundam Build Fighters, Episode 10. Only 10 episodes into Gundam Build Fighters, and I can already tell this is going to be one of my favorite Gundam anime of all time. And I did not see that coming at all. I thought this series was going to be a complete flop and it was going to suck. And I'm enjoying it way more than Gundam Age. And frankly, it's just incomparable to Gundam Unicorn. That series is just amazing in almost every possible way. And it's just got a completely different tone. But for what it is, Gundam Build Fighters is just consistently entertaining and incredibly surprising. And a series that seems like it was made and catered for the Gundam fan. Because this one was just an orgy of robot madness. So many awesome cameos and mobile suits from so many different Gundam series coming together for the world tournament. This was an awesome episode that really brought everything together. It had action, it had drama, character development, new characters being introduced, brand new concepts, and a great cliffhanger. This was just an exciting episode that I could drool over constantly, and it started off kind of slow and I thought it was going to be like that throughout. But, as I was watching the episode, I realized that I'm really starting to like these characters a lot, and they're surprisingly enduring, even though they're a little more goofy than your typical Gundam character. But still, I like that, and there's still a lot of mystery to a lot of these guys. In particular, this week, they focused on the characters of Reiji and Ayla. Now, Reiji's been mysterious since he was introduced in the beginning of the series. They're really not telling us anything about him. They mentioned once that maybe he's from the colonies, but they aren't telling us about the colonies, are they? And Ayla is the Gunpla battler from Team Nemesis, and she's simply just as mysterious. She's pretty much the female equivalent of Reiji, and that makes sense because they have a little scuffle in this episode over some food, and you can kind of tell that maybe they're going to form a rivalry and possible romance. I'm really not sure what to take from it. One scene that I thought was absolutely hilarious was uh, the night before the tournament, they hold this huge banquet for all of the battlers, and it's full-on black tie tuxedo. It's pretty damn serious. And you get to see that Sei is there, and he's rubbing elbows with all of like the really badass Gunpla battlers there. He meets up with Mal, and he even gets to see Ricardo Fellini is trying to pick up on the ladies. And eventually he even meets up with Kirara, who was that one idol character from a few episodes ago, and she's become like the official idol of this entire tournament. And it makes sense, it's what she wanted to do, but she still really doesn't give a crap about anything in the Gundam universe, and this is made even funnier by the fact that when Ricardo is trying to pick up on her, he gets really, really drunk, and then just starts talking about the 8th MS team, and it's great because he's hammered, and he's talking about how good the animation was, and as funny as all of that is... I agree. The animation was good. At the end of the episode, there are so many cameos from multiple mobile suits. Everything from Zeta Gundam to F91 to G Gundam. Just, it's all over the place. And all of them are unique because some of them are upgraded and have some special abilities as well. And this is where you get to see a lot of the big guys showing off their moves. Like, you got Ricardo Fellini. You get uh, Ayla, who shows off with her upgraded Cubelet. Uh, but one of the best parts of this episode is what takes place at the very end when you get to see that Reiji and Sei get to show off their brand new Gunpla. And it's not too different from what they had before, but it goes through a transformation sequence that makes it incredibly unique and frankly just really awesome. This one is now called the Star Build Strike, and it has this name for a very special reason. Now when it first goes out into the battle, it seems pretty normal. It has a brand new gun, which makes the sound effect of the original beam rifle from Mobile Suit Gundam, which is a very nice touch. Uh, but it goes through this transformation sequence where essentially this, like, big, like, golden star erupts, and it flies through it, and then it grows these giant, like, energy wings, and then it flies around, and it disperses this energy, and whatever touches it pretty much explodes, and damn if it isn't awesome. The transformation sequence is easily the best part about this episode in all of the Gundam moments. It's just... So awesome, and everybody is completely floored by this, and all of its cool abilities, like it has the shield that can absorb energy and everything, it's just, it's it's a really awesome looking Gundam, and it's like a composite of like, all of the coolest aspects of like, every single main Gundam of every like, series. And uh, what's really awesome is like I said, everybody's like, incredibly floored by like, this awesome Gundam, but then you have Ayla, who's in her room just watching it on her TV, and she doesn't even finish watching the match, she like, turns it off halfway, and she's like, huh... He's powerful. At the end of the episode, Sei and Reiji notice that a brand new fighter is making their way into the arena, and it's none other than Yuki, who is now going under the name of Kawaguchi, and that's where the episode ends. And I cannot wait to see what he's going to be capable of, because they are building up so many characters in this one. 
Ayla, Yuki, freaking Nils Nilsson, who is still sort of just sort of hanging out in the background. There's so much buildup in this episode, and there was a lot of payoff as well, and that's what made this one work so much. It, it got you excited, and then it gave you some stuff, and then it got you more excited for more stuff. It's crazy, guys. Uh, I love this episode, clearly. Um, I'm a huge Gundam fan, so obviously I'm a little biased because there's just so much awesome cameo action here. But honestly, all of the action is really fun to watch. You don't have to be a huge expert on Gundam to really enjoy this stuff. You just need to watch it and just see the robots tearing each other apart. It's just incredible. The animation in this one was pretty good. And that transformation sequence at the end was just pretty damn tops. Uh, and like I said, all the characters in this series are surprisingly endearing. And they're all very unique and interesting. And they seem to have some pretty interesting backgrounds. And some of them, like Ayla and Reiji, are just incredibly mysterious, and you want to know why. So I have no qualms with giving this incredible episode a 10 out of 10 from me. I got no complaints from it. I just thought it was a really good episode. It pretty much delivered everything full package. So you guys know that I like this episode of Gundam Build Fighters, but it's your turn to chime in, and you can let me know what you thought about this episode with your comments below. You can tell me about your favorite moments, maybe some favorite cameos or mobile suits, maybe some stuff you didn't like. And remember guys, before you leave, please hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. It is truly one of the best ways to support our videos. And you can subscribe and check out the other videos up top. You know the typical drill. So, I'll see you next time guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.